Hi everyone and welcome back. As I continue this procedural modeling project in Odini, I thought I could share a few tips for anyone getting started like me. So for this particular shape I wanted to find a procedural and easy solution. I started with a few circles distributed on a grid. Then I am covering the empty space with a grid, boolean with union, and next select all the unshared edges to get the border. Converting the edge group to a curve, but now I have these sharp transitions and I need a way to blend the shapes. So the solution is actually pretty simple, just use a smooth node with a high value and we get the desired result. Thanks to Octop user on the Audini subreddit that helped me with this. Ok, the next tip is about shaping an extrusion. In this case I wanted to create a profile. And that's easy, just scroll down in the extrusion node and look for thickness. There you can edit a ramp to create the desired profile of the extrusion. You can add points and change its value and position along the extrusion. And of course you can go over the boundaries, meaning setting a value over 1 if you need to. The next tip is about outputting groups procedurally, so you can use them later in the graph. Right here I am extruding this circle, and as you can see in the output uh, geometry and groups, I am enabling the side group. This will create a group of those faces or primitives that I can use in the next step. Now I can load the side group in this extrusion and only affect those polygons. Ok, let's see how we can create patterns of geometry with proper orientation. I start with a circle again with 8 sides and as I am using these to create the points for the distribution I will also resample it with the desired amount of points. Then we have the polyframe nodes and we'll get back to it in a second. Using again a resample just to remove the geometry and output only points. Now selecting and deleting the corners as I only want points on the sides. Using the copy to points to distribute an object along those points. And as you can see the geometry is correctly oriented along the shape. The trick here is the polyframe nodes, if we set it to normal in the tangent name, it will orient the points the correct way. Also I had to use the first edge in the style dropdown. And this was the way I did all these repeating patterns for this lamp. Ok, within the same setup I'm going to show you how to select points with the group by range node. My goal here is to select all the corner points in a procedural way. So let's use a group by range nodes and set the group type to points. Now we can copy the number of segments in the resample node to select the corners. The problem with this is that we, if, if we go back to, and change the amount of points, it won't work anymore. So what we can do is to link those parameters. Copy the parameter from the resample node and paste relative reference in the range. And now we can easily change the amount of points and it works procedurally as desired. And those were the tips I wanted to share for anyone getting started with Dodini. Very basic stuff but quite useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.